Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Tonight we're checking out a 2020 Toyota Land Cruiser at night. So this video focuses on the interior and exterior lighting of the vehicle. Check my channel for a full overview and test drive videos, which are separate videos. First, I want to point out that you can turn off all the exterior lighting using the DRL off position on the light switch. Uh, some vehicles you can't turn off the exterior lights. There's always some kind of exterior light on even if you want to turn it all off. Now I have the parking lights on and when I turn the parking lights on the actual headlight turns on and a dimmer it's just a dimmer version of the headlight. You also have this LED strip there at the bottom your daytime running light and your side marker there in amber. But you can mistake this for a headlight because it's fairly bright, um, but nowhere near as bright as the headlight itself, but uh, it's, it's the same light, it's just dimmer. And the tail lights turn on as well, all powered by LEDs. Now there's a turn signal. The turn signal is the only light that I can tell that in the back here is not LED. It's a standard bulb in amber. And then you have a side marker there, turn signal indicator on the side mirror. And now this is LED. You can see it from the back, the side, and the front. It's not that bright though. So during the day, you can't really see it that well during the day. Um, that indicator on the side mirror. It's more bright on the side and the back. And here in the front, once again, it's a standard bulb, not LED. So that's one of the, it's the only light that I've found that is standard bulbs. The rest of the vehicle seem to be LED. Now I have the low beams on. And when I turn on the low beams, the fog lights also turn on their LEDs as well. Now the headlights are in a projector tube, projector housing, a focused beam for your low beams, and a reflector here for your fog lights. When I turn on the high beams, the inner projector also turns on, and it's a more uh, a higher position, more broader, less focused beam. Also the fog lights turn off when you turn the high beams on. There's the low beams, there's the high beams. You can see the low beams. There's a cutoff right there at the top of those bushes. And then there's high beams. We'll take it out on the road so you can actually see what it looks like on the road. Looking at the cargo area, the tag lights there at the top kind of serve as an approach light a little bit. I mean, it's right there at the top and it seems to illuminate the area around it. And looking in the cargo area, there's one light and it's a dome light here. And it's fairly bright. Now we do have dark interior, black interior, and all my stuff is back here so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Um, it's not super excellent, but I think it's adequate enough. Um, it would be better if there was lighter, like say you had a lighter cargo mat or something like that to kind of bounce the light back. But having one light is okay uh, if you have it in the very center. And it's pretty bright. I wouldn't say it's, you know, it could be a little bit better. I think it'd be better if it actually had some lights there on the side, maybe even some lights on the underside of the tailgate, maybe some over the shoulder type lights. Um, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. The button that lowers the power lift gate is backlit, but it's just fairly, fairly dim, but in the dark, you can actually see it. So that's good. The back doors 
they do have an, a puddle light, which is nice. It looks like it is an LED. Now there is some floorboard illumination. I don't know if you can see that. It's down there. Just subtly, just a very subtle, and it seems like it's localized. It's not really, you know, in a broad area, but it does give some illumination there in the floorboard. Also, the dome light gives you that illumination in the floorboard as well because of the way it's positioned, kind of right there between the seat and the floor. So it illuminates the seats. It also illuminates the floor a little bit. Even with the black, I can see fairly well in here. And of course, you have that dome light in the cargo area spilling over and giving you a little bit of extra light here as well. There is some backlit buttons here for the uh, climate control and the heated seats, stuff like that, all backlit, which is nice. In addition to the puddle light here in the back door, uh, it has a little locator light for the power window. You also have this little ambient light that illuminates this armrest right in here. So I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of very subtle, uh, but it does have some nice um, arm, just a light to illuminate the side of the door where you put your arm. Front door, same thing. It has the puddle light. It has the soft illuminated light here for your armrest. And then you have some buttons here um, that are dark for your preset for your seat, but you have some locator lights here for your, uh, your window and door lock controls. And there's no lights down here for the pockets at the bottom, but that, that armrest light is pretty nice. The seal plate has the Land Cruiser name illuminated, really cool looking. You do have some floorboard illumination as well. Maybe you can see with the, uh, there I go, put my white shoe there so you can see it, because it is, it's a black interior, so some lights don't show up on camera very well. You have some backlit buttons here. And then there's a center dome light there. So it's basically three center dome lights, front, middle, and back for the illumination. It's right in the center, so it does a fairly decent job of giving you some overall lighting. So I'm sitting in the driver's seat and I have the door open so we can see what it looks like with the interior light on here. And it does have a light in the glove compartment, which is nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door. And now we're just looking at the backlit buttons. Now I have the, the uh, dimmer switch all the way up. So let me go ahead and turn that down to a more normal position. The navigation and stuff like that turns, the screen here turns to the night mode. So you can see the difference here. That's day mode, it's too bright at nighttime. So let's go turn it down. Steering wheel has backlit buttons, all of them, except for the, uh, I'm gonna show you it here. Cruise control is not backlit. That's down there. There's your gauges. A lot of backlit. I mean, most everything appears to be backlit really nice. Uh, the floorboard does have illumination. Now there's a place to put your cell phone right here and there's no illumination there. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Right in here, this area right here, you can see I'm gonna turn off the night vision, it's completely dark. So uh, if you use, utilize that, um, it's not gonna, you won't be able to see anything there at nighttime. Also your pockets here, for, I mean your cup holders, completely dark. See my cell phone's here. Didn't even know it's there because <laughs> it's so dark here. So see when I turn the night vision off it just completely goes away. So anything in there would be uh, hard to find at night. And this armrest, let's go ahead and turn the night vision on because I know we're going to need that. All right, so lift the top part up and it's completely dark. You can't even see in there. 
Like even with the night vision, see right here. Okay, so this armrest, I had to turn on the interior lights because even the night vision couldn't pick this up. Um, so there's just so dark in here. Uh, this compartment is, um, can't see anything. And then I have some stuff in it, um, but you'll see it's just completely dark. Without this interior light, we're not finding anything in this. I mean, it's completely, you need a flashlight. If you buy this vehicle, you need to buy a flashlight with it, basically. Um, because even the interior lights don't really help 100%. Okay, so I have the night vision on, and to show you, here's the rear view mirror. There is a, a backlit illuminated button, just one right here, and then, then there's three over here. They're kind of hard to see, um, but there's your home link garage and orbital controls, and this is for your dimmer switch, your dimmer, your rear view mirror, auto dim rear view mirror. So you can turn that feature off here, but as you can see, it's. Um, little bit of a finder's light there and above that you can see this is complete this all this is dark okay there's some backlit buttons here for your sunroof but uh, let me just show you if you're trying to find the interior light and you can't find it this is what you see nothing okay so you're trying to find it you got to feel your way around have a flashlight to find the interior lights because it's part of the problem is if you can't see anything and then you go to look for the light switch if you don't know right where it is um, then you're pushing all these other buttons here uh, so there's the interior light button I'm surprised that that button the button that you would need to find in the dark is not backlit that's the one button that you would need because if you can't see that's why you're turning the light on but it's not backlit everything else is backlit I don't I don't get it I mean, you can, there's this little spotlight there, little spotlight there. But, uh, but anyways, that's kind of interesting. You can have the interior lights turn on with the door and stuff too as well. But um, the visor has a mirror and light here. Now, let me turn the night vision off because it appears, yeah, that's a standard bulb. So that's not LED. So they mix in a couple standard bulbs here. Now with a higher stance off the ground, uh, it does have a really good visibility just in general, but when you have these nice bright headlights, it has a good even light from the front of the vehicle on out. It's really impressive.